Hmm. So I get up and I'm just like reading through all this JW bullshit. You know, somebody posted like, how do you know it's a cult? <laughs> well, I already did my video on that. But anyways, uh, I just had like an epiphany. My little sister and my little brother, they didn't want to have kids. And so it just made me realize, like, reading through when the girl asked, like, how do you know it's a cult? If you would let your children die. I just remember being a child and, like, my parents forcing me to wear the no blood bracelet, like, growing up and going to school. And um, so if you're willing to let your children die for a, pri a Bible prophecy or something, like, because somebody's telling you that the Bible said to let your children die if they need blood and you are okay with that, then you're in a cult. Like, it just it just had made me have an epiphany because it made me realize that my little sister and my little brother, they don't have kids, right? They claim that they didn't want to bring any kids into this world. But um, I thought about it and I'm like, wow. They know that if they have kids, that the organization would expect them to let their kids die. That's why they never had kids. Because when I was little, my whole life, and you, Mr. James Cochran, asshole, who keeps wanting to commenting on my videos and putting your two cents in, but obviously you're watching my videos for a reason, because you said that I was never a witness, because I was never baptized. I'm so glad I didn't get baptized. And that doesn't mean that you can disregard me being born in and raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Even though, thankfully, I was strong enough and smart enough not to accept it as a child when I'm questioning my parents and telling them that you would let me die and they're telling me okay and having to fucking, oh, excuse me, <laughs> listen to the Bible storybook every night with all those stories about death and killing and murder and no wonder that I'm instilled with fear and I can't leave my house and all these mental doctors aren't willing to help me because I'm a smart person, I'm a spiritual person, but I've been brainwashed and indoctrinated with fear. So I have OCD harm and I have extreme anxiety and I have all this stuff and you're telling me that I'm not, a, I mean, like, I don't never claim to be a Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> Hallelujah. Thank God. Oh my God. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I didn't give in because I wasn't weak. Like, I'm sorry. I was born that way. I fought against it since a child. And I will continue to fight against it. And now that I'm a grown-up, like, guess what? I'm going to be 40 tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm just now waking up. And this is hell. And this is something I don't wish on anybody. My worst enemy. And this is something that we all XJWs have to go through. And yes, I consider myself an XJW because I was born in. And still, my dad was a P.O. my whole entire childhood growing up. So that means that my dad knew about all this stuff. So that's another thing that I can't process. So that's a problem because my dad is a good man. He was a good man. He's dead now. Um, but I now looking back see that whole internal battle that he had and remember all his conversations talking to me about how he could never believe that a molester could change until he became a witness. Oh my god. Like, there's so much. And do you guys know that you can test your body? You can test your body because your body has muscle memory from the seconds you came out of the womb. It probably has muscle memory from you being in the womb. I don't know because I'm not that good at it yet. But you can test yourself to see how many people you're abused by and how many people... <laughs> like, anything that you can't remember because you have it blocked out of your mind and you... I can't seem to find the answer because you can't remember because it's so traumatic. You can test yourself and message me. You guys, I put my Facebook on there, my Instagram, my emails on there. Only thing that's not on there is my phone number. But the mental health system needs, like, we need help here. We all need help. We all need to get together. We need to get our resources. We need to have the activists, uh, activists unite. Like, instead of fighting and all this BS, like, I don't want no part of all you people online who want to degrade each other and put each other down and, like, fight against each other when we've been in this war 
for ourselves since birth. We've been in a war to try to be able to be ourselves, to try to be free. I am liberated. I'm free and I am happy. Like, yeah, I'm going through hell. I'm going through shit that's like indescribable. And I'm sorry, I don't even know where I was. But anyways, I'm so irritated and annoyed. And um, this needs to stop. Like, we need to get help. We need to stop this. And anyways, <laughs> that's it for now.